Not about to merely sit around and wait for the judge's decision on the fate of the occupied Toronto camp. We are unstoppable. Another world is possible. Occupiers were joined by supporters and set off from St. James Park this afternoon on what they call the Evict Rob Ford March. The libraries, all the cutbacks, there's no gravy train. You know, it's time for him to go. The main message, they're not leaving. Evict Mayor Rob Ford instead. Please, do something good for people. If you cannot do, goodbye, thank you. To cover more ground and reach out to people, they split into two groups, one going east, the other west on King Street. We followed as hundreds made their way to busy Young Street. They were loud, united, and confident their voices are resonating. As they reached Young Dundas Square, many out shopping couldn't help but stop and watch. I'm thinking it's a pretty calm and cons and contained protests. I don't know, maybe you could use this energy to go look for a job. This is among the bigger Occupy rallies Toronto has seen, and if you ask many here, they'll tell you this movement is far from weakening. But as Occupy camps in other parts of the country are being dismantled, like in Vancouver today, there's definitely some uncertainty about the future of this movement. After hearing arguments from both sides yesterday, a judge is taking the weekend to decide whether the tents at St. James Park should stay or go. The city argued the tent village is violating city bylaws and infringing on others' rights to enjoy the park, while occupiers contend eviction would infringe on their right to freedom of expression. I think that in the last few months we've all seen that occupied movements around the world have changed the way we talk about inequality. And whether or not, no matter what a judge decides, this movement has started and it's not going to stop. The final destination after weaving their way through the streets, City Hall. Then it was back to base camp. Whether or not it will exist past this weekend is unclear, yet occupiers are encouraged by today's turnout. Their efforts to effect change continue. And we're live here at St. James Park, where occupiers are settling in for yet another evening. I spoke with one of them who said that they are definitely trying to plan, uh, plan out uh, what to do in the event that a judge sides in favor with the city and uh, decides to evict them. They have this uh, plan to sp uh, spread out in different groups, one of them being maybe a green zone where uh, some of the occupiers pick up their stuff and leave. And then there's the idea that there might be a red zone where people uh, decide to stay and resist. So there are plenty of different uh, reactions on how they might plenty of different ideas on how they might react to the judge's decision to decision that is coming down on Monday at 9 a.m. Reporting live, I'm Michelle Dubay. Back to the desk.